Hello and welcome to Blackpool. <laughs> Only joking, welcome to Paris. <laughs> The day has finally come. After just over a year of being monetized on YouTube, I've generated enough ad revenue to hit the £60 threshold, which means I can now withdraw my money and have my first ever YouTube paycheck. So I thought, what better place to spend the money than to come to Paris? I arrived last night though, so I did have to find a hostel, which means that £24 has been spent on my night's sleep. Lovely area, by the way. So now I have £36 left and about 12 hours here in Paris. So join me and we'll see what I can spend the rest of my money, the rest of my first YouTube paycheck on here in Paris. Let's go. All right, first purchase today in Paris is gonna be getting a subscription for the share bikes. The one I'm gonna get is 24 hour pass, electric. So it's 10 euros. Which means I can get 0 to 60 minutes per bike ride, so that's pretty good. So let's go get that one, subscribe, subscribe, and then yeah, we can unlock a bike. I put in my personal number and now I just need to put in the password. And boom, bike is unlocked for 60 minutes, let's go. Best way to get around the city is on a bike by far, you get to see so much more than just being on the metro or going on a bus. If you're ever in Paris, London, <laughs> Shanghai, anywhere that has the share bikes, get on them, because honestly, so many cycle paths these days, it's fairly safe and it's so much more fun. So anyway, on the bike now, first stop is a boulangerie that my friend recommended, and I'm gonna try some pastries and some bread. <laughs> Sounds good. Anyway, let's head off. I think this way. Nine minutes in the end. Saw quite a lot of sights actually there on that little cycle, went along the river. Do we get to see Jay Z and Kanye West though? But who knows? They could be around anywhere. Here we are, the baker at the Boulanger, Anthony Bosson Artan Boulanger. Let's give it a go. Wow, look at the selection. All right. <laughs> I've ended up, ended up spending 10 euros 50 <laughs> on a sandwich, dessert, and a drink. So I've gone for La Gamora, La Gamora which is cheese, tomato, and some salad. Uh, in here is a vanilla flan. There she is. Ooh, can't wait to have that. And then an agrumes or saveur drink. Hopefully it's worth it. <laughs> Check out the tomato. Wow. Oh my god, that is so creamy and so delicious and perfect. Wow. Oh, although that was three times the price as a Tesco meal deal, definitely tasted three times better. That was gorgeous, that flan, oh my god. And also, the grooms, good drink. Wish we had this in England. As you can see, I'm back on a bike. The plan of action is head back towards the Eiffel Tower, not to go up it, but uh, nearby I've seen there's a, there's a museum about the sewer system here in Paris, so why not go to the sewer museum? I think it's fairly cheap, so I should have enough to pay for that and then I'll be able to get some food after. Let's go towards the sewers and see if they're open and yeah, it'll be honking down there, it'll be stinking, but it could be fun. Right, there we are. That right there is the sewer museum. Fingers crossed I'm not too late for it. It says it shuts at four and it's about quarter past three. Could be a bit tight, but we're gonna try. If not, we'll take something else out. All right, ticket secured. The Musée de Aigouts de Paris. It costs nine euros. And then we start spending the sewers. And, um, 
Inside the Paris sewers is a labyrinth of tunnels where you can learn all about the history of the sewage system in the city and pretend that you are part of the 2006 hit film Flushed Away. If I'm honest, it's one of the more unique museums I've been to, and I can tell you that it smells exactly as bad as you think it would. After a draining 30 minutes, I was ready to leave, with a newfound perspective on the sewage system here in Paris. Um, the way I see it is the YouTube money I earned was always going to be spent on crap, so why not literally spend it on crap? There we are, that's the sewage museum. I <laughs> uh, probably should have bought the audio guide to be a bit more invested, but I had fun. I now have I don't know how many euros left, uh, or pounds, I've only got 11 pounds left. That should be enough for dinner. The one problem I have encountered is um, my portable charger died, so I have to sit here for a bit and charge my phone. Fun fact though, little travel hack, uh, if you have your USB cable with you, if you go to bus stops, a lot of the time in major cities they have a little USB slot, plug it in there, and there you are, good to go. Charge your phone while on the go. So it turned out that my charging cable stopped working as soon as I stopped recording. I decided that the best plan of action was to head over to the Apple store on the Champs-Élysées to charge my phone. After charging my phone, I did a quick stop off at the Arc de Triomphe before cycling over to the highest point in the city, Montmartre. This area is famous for its artistic heritage, panorama views, and for an accordion playing cat. I walked around taking in all of the charming streets until I ran into a familiar sight. Exciting moment here for any Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 fans. Did anyone play on the map called Resistance? Have a look around. This is the map. Or at least a part of it. Look at that. 24 kill streak and I'm on a MOAB. Let's not do that. <laughs> uh, I've come back to the area where my hostel is. So I find something quick to eat and then pick up my bags and go to the bus stop and then back to London. Overnight coach, come on. So anyway, we're in this area now. Let's have a little walk around and see what we can find. And there we are, my. Quattro fromage, four cheese pizza. Looks good. And we're on the canal here. It's only my last half an hour or so before I have to leave here in Paris. Pizza's quite good actually. Um, I forgot to say I got it from a kebab shop <laughs> around the corner. Yeah, it costs eight euros fifty with a drink. So I've got myself a Tropico, orange and pineapple. That lovely. <laughs> Off the metro there, it cost me two euros ten for a single ride. So we're gonna call it there. I'm heading to the coach station now. It's this way. And yeah, that was Paris. Uh, I'll catch you in 12 months' time when I get my next 60 quid. And we're gonna go to a casino and put it all in black. How about that? Anyway, farewell. Hope you enjoyed, and lots more videos coming soon. Bye.